Greetings, this is Marina K. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all today. Hold on. I want to talk to y'all today about my experience in church. I went to um, Sunday school this morning, and <clears throat> now of course I can't remember the scripture, but um, the subject was talking about basically the, the separation between flesh and spirit, and um, how flesh causes us or can encourage us to do things that are against spirit, and how the two are um, constantly at odds or at enmity with each other. So, as I was sitting there, I thought about um, the difference between African concepts of um, our existence as holistic beings and Judeo-Christian or um, we'll say even, even most of the Abrahamic faith, their view on who we are as beings. Most of the time they teach that we are split in half basically. One side is good, one side is evil. Um, one view you could take it is is looking at um, it as a dichotomy or as a balance to the other. But, wait, well, with African-centered thought, we believe that we're holistic um, and we're accountable for the things that we do. We don't we can't blame um, some outside force or some outside entity for the things that we do right or wrong. So basically what's happening when you blame your flesh for what you eat, drink, um, or different acts that you may perform, different evil acts that you may perform, when you blame your flesh for that, to me, I feel like it starts to teach you self-hatred because you have to begin to hate that part of yourself because it becomes something that you want to conquer. You don't conquer things that you love, you know, because it constantly talks about overcoming the flesh and, you know, um, bringing your flesh into submission and things like that. Um, and this, you begin to learn to hate a part of you. And so when you begin to learn to hate a part of you, then you start to show behaviors that reflect that self-hatred, such as overeating, such as um, sexual perversions, um, such as even um, looking to gods or goddesses or however you want to look at that look nothing like you, that do not reflect anything about you. Um, because you've learned to divide yourself into good and evil. And I just found it interesting that um, then you go past the division of yourself into two parts and then you look at the world in two parts. And it's good and evil. Now, the good, of course, is um, comprised of Christians. And then you make that even smaller group into particular bodies of Christians because you won't take, like, um, denominational, say, like, CME, AME, Baptists, will not put themselves together with Jehovah's Witness, for instance, and consider them all to be part of the body of Christ. So... They, you divide yourself, then you divide yourself out from the world. So you become um, divided from the rest of the world because you're Christian and everybody else is not. And you just can't function that way. Um, especially as an African person because of the simple fact that at the end of the day, people see us, they see what we look like first. They don't see that you're Christian. They don't see that you're Muslim. They don't see that you're Buddhist or whatever, they see your skin, um, they see where you ascended from, which is, of course, um, Mother Africa, and they treat you as such, or they mistreat you as such a lot of times, but we've let things like um, religious beliefs and such divide us, but it's because the division started with our initial concepts and belief systems um, when we have been taught, not even taught. We've been forced over, you know, all these years um, to believe in somebody that is in opposition to us. Um, there's this devil that's constantly after us. There's this, it's always some force that's constantly after you. 
and you know and then further you don't have any accountability for the things that you do because this devil has done something to you with African belief concepts you have to have accountability for what you do there is no um, there's no escape from the things that you your misdeeds you don't just escape them. you're not able to just say oh well you know just forgive me and then you not have some type of um, repercussions for what you do and that's life and that's that's nature that's how things work if you put your hand on hot stove you're gonna get burned you know it's that's what happens it's always a cause and effect that's science that's nature that's African concepts um, and so if I eat something I shouldn't eat then I'm gonna have a result that I don't like I may be fat I may be constipated I might get sick um, I might have high blood pressure so I can't eat things that I shouldn't eat and then say oh God save me so we learn accountability um, we have to learn to um, we have to learn in on African paths we have to learn that we're accountable for whatever we do we're accountable for um, taking care of our fellow man regardless of what their belief systems are when I see another African person um, even sometimes regardless of how I'm treated I try to show them the correct way by my own behavior so anyway that's what was on my mind today um, and there were other, some other things that I noticed simple things like um, African centeredness um, like you know, if you look at it as you know in worship in that arena we always look towards the earth we always look towards um, balanced things now when I hear Father God or something like that it kind of irks me a little bit um, we while a lot of times in church you raise your hands and you look toward the sky we bow our head we bow our bodies to the ground and we put our heads to the ground um, because we know that that's where our life force and everything comes from so anyway um, if you want to reference a really simple easy to read but um, full of information type book you can check out um, well first you can check out Akala Tunde's channel I mentioned her in another video um, A-K-A-L-A-T-U-N-D-E um, but her she has two books one is Ona Agbani and the other one is Sotito or Shotito not sure if it's a S or SH sound but anyway both of those are available on her website which is OshetoraInstitute.com I hope um, but anyway if, if that's not right just check her channel out but that was just what was on my mind today um, and it's kind of been bothering me um, and for the hair people that are here for the hair just pin curls I put um, some bobby I don't know what that wild one is but um, I put some bobby pins and looped it around the other side is just stuck up so because I know somebody was probably going to ask me what I did so basically let me see let's see if you can see this and then you just see, stick it like that okay freestyle freeform hairstyle so anyway, thank y'all for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoy yourself while you're checking out whatever videos I have on my channel. You want to say hey? What's your channel? Peace. I don't have a channel because I haven't been doing anything with it. You took it down? Yeah. See the secrets we have? I didn't even know that. Well, when he gets his channel back up and running, which he better do, um, you'll enjoy his channel. He does a lot of um, inspirational stuff. He speaks to youth a lot. He has a wonderful story to tell. Um, so you can you can check it, check his channel out. I think it's Mr. Broom Forty. Don't look at it right now because ain't nothing on there. You took it down. But it, no, the video is still there. But as soon as something pop up and I start doing something new, y'all will be the first to know because she'll tell you. Okay, say Where's our son. Oh God. Okay, so thank y'all so much for watching. Um, hit me with any questions. Uh, you can do a response video, however you want to do it. If you agree, disagree, let me know.
I'll talk to y'all later.